Hey, you just caught me in the middle of editing another Great Racer Cinema Productions video. Hello again. Alright, so I made this a uh, video as a, uh, a response to Dustin Eden's video about beating Gran Turismo 4 by only using used cars. Yeah. He actually tried to beat Gran Turismo 4 by only using used cars, but the thing is, is that, well, he gave up on that challenge. And yeah, he uh, uh, most of the time used used cars, well, except for the truck race where you're supposed to use, like, trucks, and you'd think that, well you'd be able to use the Daihatsu Midget 2 with that race, but nope, it's not listed in the regulations, even though it is technically a pickup truck as well. Although it's, well, a smaller pickup truck, it's a mini truck. Yeah, it's weird that they didn't even put it in the regulations. So, yeah. I've been playing Gran Turismo 4 for years, and of course, I've gotten better and better at the game. Dustin Eden has already called it quits on this challenge, but... That doesn't mean that I'm actually going to a... Uh, to give up on this challenge as well, because, well... I decided to do this challenge and, well, I'm always up for making a game that I play a lot more challenging. Alright, so same rules as Dustin Eden's video. We can't say I use any prize cars, license tests don't count, yada yada yada. And we will have to sell any prize cars we do get. Because we're not allowed to use them. We're only allowed to use used cars. And of course, unlike the last video, I'm actually going to split this video into different parts. So that it doesn't interfere with my main workflow. And I can post other videos in between. So yeah, what are we waiting for? Let's burn some rubber and attempt to beat Gran Turismo 4 by only using used cars. Alright, let's go. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. We're doing this. Yeah, I also used the same exact a uh, disc that I was going to use for a uh, trying to beat the Dream Car Championship with the Buick GNX pretty hard to do so because, well, it didn't have as well as the race cars did. So, use this disc instead. Alright, so, these are the three used cardio ships we have in the storage showroom, which has like a uh, car from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, well, 60s cars, you have to be lucky to get them. Yeah, this is something that Dustin Eden didn't touch upon it in his videos, that there are a couple of cars you can get from the uh, historic car dealership that would be suitable for the classic car championship. Yeah, the uh, uh, Mercury Cougar, I believe, is the best choice. There's also a Fiat in there. Yeah, the, uh, the early to the 90s dealership. And of course, say, uh, the used car showroom for newer cars. Alright, so which one should we get? Mazda Demio? Ah, just kidding. That's a pretty slow car. Let's get ourselves... Oh, I know. Let's get 
ourselves a glass of Revo. Alright, there we go. See you in the Sunday Cup. Alright, so... We're doing the, uh, the first race of the Sunday Cup, but first, well, we're gonna have to do something about the music. Cause, well... We can't have a, um, any music play during gameplay since this game does have a licensed soundtrack, unfortunately. Alright, so without further ado, let's race. Yeah, we got an oil change and everything. It's a four point race. the replay music. We'll have to turn that off as well. Surely a few seconds wouldn't a, uh, actually affect it, right? Well. It might, depending on YouTube's content ID system. Well, let's go ahead and meet a, uh, Play music as well. We're on to the next race. We're not required to mute the uh, menu music since it's not under YouTube's content ID system, but the uh, uh, replay music and the uh, Menu music we are supposed to meet. Alright, set it to manual. There we go. Always use manual. Manual's good. Okay, second. Five point race, by the way.
this race will skip ahead to the last one at the uh, I forgot to explain what our end goal is. It's pretty much similar to Dustin Eden's say, uh, attempt to beat Gran Turismo 4 by only using used cars. Our end goal is to beat the uh, uh, Gran Turismo World Championship by only using used cars. Yeah, if you want to get 100% completion, then you don't have to say uh, yes. Well, new cars and cars are certain races, of course, they uh, have different regulations, but the one big races aren't vital, though, unless you really want more credits. However, they, uh, these races are vital to the game. And our end goal is to basically beat the Grand Turismo World Championship. That's going to take a while. So, make sure you have a lot of patience and a lot of speed. So, we'll be there for a long, long time. Dirty playing against the rules, but this is a game. 
rolling here to have a problem. Yeah. Can you beat that race? I went about as well as I expected. Easy. All right. So let's get our prize car. First prize car in the uh, in the game. Yeah. You're not required to uh, uh, do the other races, but you have to if you want to get more credits. that car's going. It's going to a, um, a cell pile. Yeah, we got some extra money to buy a FM car. Yeah, see what lurks in the used car showrooms. Okay. Yeah, we need a car that's powerful enough to a uh, beat this race. I think I found it. Yeah, that's me, she, the clip. Yeah, alright, so yeah. Do we have enough credits for tuning parts? We don't. Let's say uh, skip ahead to the uh, the final race of the game since well, it'll take too long if I show you all the races. Let's go. All right, so this is the final way uh, lap of the. Uh, very last race in the FF Challenge. Yeah. I, of course, equipped the Mitsubishi Eclipse with a uh, Stage 1 Turbo Upgrade. If I got all gold, I would have uh, got more money out of the Honda S600 or S500. I think it's the S500. Yeah, since, well, That car would have worth a lot as opposed to the Mazda Kusubai, which is the concept car that is invaluable. Yeah, pretty much all the concept cars except for the racing versions of them that say um, Tommy Cairo Z2 are invaluable when you try to sell them. And all they can do is, well, be removed from the garage. Yeah, this last race is pretty easy. We're beginning to uh, uh, notice a theme here in Gran Turismo games. The first bit of races are easy and it gets harder and harder as the games progress. And yes, we will be a, uh, visiting the non-vital events to get more credits. Yeah, it just barely had enough credits to buy a, uh, when I saw the Volkswagen Lupo. I had to redo a, uh, Sunday Cup race in order to get some more credits for the, uh, Stage 1 Turbo Cat. But anyways, we complete the FF Challenge and a, uh, Go Home Winners.
Good idea since Spall well, gives us more options. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Got a Miata, but that's not good enough for a VFR challenge. Yeah, they got an RX-7 here. Oh, yeah, the 97 model has to appear in the dealership yet. Yeah. This will have to do. Yeah, it's an RX-7. It's going to be a vital car to this a, um, challenge as well. You'll see in a... Um, a later part. Wait. We just got the uh, yellow one. Oh well, an arc 7 is an arc 7. Just for curiosity's sake. I want to see how a uh, high you can see this car. Yeah, 425 horsepower. Well, we haven't changed the oil just yet. So yeah, we might want to tune it a bit for a uh, VFR challenge. Yeah, I don't know why the fun race had to take place in a uh, motorland. But, it is what it is. Yeah, this is one of the two driving car courses in the uh, Grand Turismo 4. Actually, one of the uh, four, if you count. The uh, Jepakna course. Say, uh, part of the uh, 
driving horse. Suck. Yeah, the driving car saga. Yeah, the, uh, the driving car saga, of course, consists of a uh, beginner course, motorland, and test course. Yeah, only test course survived a uh, making it over to a. Uh... Actually, I don't think about it, if I remember correctly, motorland survived. Test course, if I remember correctly, survived the branches with PSP transition as the branches with five. Test course was replaced with special stage. <coughs> yeah, that was pretty easy. And of course, I got Jimmy Johnson number 48 points. Yeah. Why did I say Jimmy Johnson number 48? Because number 48. Jimmy Johnson's number was Jimmy Johnson's number, but now it's a uh, can't remember which driver nowadays has the uh, number. He used to drive the number 88 car. I'm sure it will get back to me. Alright, final race of the four wheel drive challenge. And yeah, we're using the same car as we did in the uh, Sunday Cup.
right, we're almost to the uh, finish line. And no, we're not going to try to cut the corner this time. Even though you can easily cut through this corner. Yeah. Again, in real life, that would lead to a penalty. But it's a game, so... Next up is the um, MR challenge. And if you're wondering about the um, the reduction in credits, well, that's because I uh, bought a truck for a uh, truck race, which is a race that will be skipped over because well, you can't beat it with a used car. It's quite available for it. So yeah, that race will be skipped over. We'll sell the uh, truck that we used. Yeah, it's the rules. Alright. We're gonna saw it after NSX 99. 97. Track it up, aren't I? And we'll uh, go for the uh, uh, other races rapid fire style so we can save ourselves some time. Alright, so we're just about to finish the, uh, the final race of the MR Challenge. And yes, I uh, am using that uh, Acura NSX 97 that I just bought. But I tuned it a bit so it can be, uh, be more competitive. As I said, I'm going to be selling the uh, Ford F-150 that I bought for the uh, truck that it's supposed to be used to be able to that one. I like to use the whole uh, Ford F-150, one of my favorite trucks. If I put extra miles on it, which is something I always used to do to a uh, no mileage on the as a kid, I'm still gonna sell it because, well, it's not a used car and, well, the race will be skipped over intentionally. So, yeah, that race doesn't count as part of the uh, used car challenge. Since, well, we can't buy any used cars for that race. We're using trucks to make sense. It's the trucks, not cars. Alright. This is the, uh, the lightweight K car cup, and we're using the uh, Suzuki Cappuccino. This race. And we have a uh, stage 3 weight reduction upgrades installed. Yeah, this is a pretty easy race. Most people would usually use the Atsubianchi A112, but because we can't use this car in this challenge, we're using Mabu's Captain. This is my favorite K car because it is so, well, aside from the Autosound AZ1 on the V3, 
they are three of my favorite cake cars because they are so quirky and fun. And the Dahatsu Kopen as well. Yeah, they're like toy roasters. I love them. They're cute. But you probably barely get in them though because they're so small. and move up to the amateur events and we'll be learning a new a uh, technique to get more and more credits well a technique that is familiar to a uh, pretty much anyone as you'll see in the uh, second part so stay tuned for part two of this response video to Dustin Eden Batman's arch nemesis is the Joker, but my arch nemesis is the YouTube algorithm. Smaller channels are being attacked and put at risk because of the viewer based algorithm that YouTube has. And yes, the Racer Simmer Productions YouTube channel will be needing every ounce of support from you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. And hit the notification bell to see when new Racer Cinema Productions videos are being posted. And together, we can help defeat the algorithm and drive it away from the Racer Cinema Productions YouTube channel. And yes, every subscriber count matters because it means you are really awesome and you support me through the um, difficult 
time on being on YouTube. Yeah, it means you really support me during these difficult times. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time.